everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a spicy Korean salad, tak muchim, using a gorbangi muchim sauce. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Now I know with the list of ingredients it seems like a lot, but don't worry, it'll go by really fast. It's not too much actually. And it's a lot of basic ingredients you might already have inside your kitchen. For this particular recipe, because I want my kids to eat this as well, I am going to use chicken breasts in place of any seafood at all. So what I'm doing here is boiling my chicken breasts and they should be cooked by the time we're done making our sauce and everything else. So let's start with our cucumbers. I'm going to cut this in half and then I'm going to slice them into thin pieces. We're going to need one and a half cups. You can use Persian, Kirby, English cucumbers is what I'm using right now and uh, I just kind of measured it against my one cup measuring cup and then I sliced it until it fit. So about one and a half's worth of what you just saw. Same thing with the carrots. With the carrots you only need a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of carrots. Just peel them up, clean it off, and again slice these into thin pieces. I just cut the edge off a little bit so I can have some stability on this. Cut it right in the center. Don't do it like this because it just didn't work out. So I'm going to end up cutting it right in the middle anyways. And then cut them again into thin slices. I only needed one whole carrot for this. So there was plenty enough for this recipe. We're also going to need an onion. All you need is a half a cup's worth of onion. Just nicely sliced like this. That's it. You don't even need a whole entire onion like I'm using here. So... Once you've done that, put everything inside of a large bowl, take a teaspoon of salt and sprinkle it all over your veggies and we are going to let this, well first we're going to mix it all up like you see what I'm doing and we're going to break apart any pieces that might be stuck together still because you want to make sure the flavor gets in between all the pieces of veggies that we've already sliced up. But this is going to help drain some of the water from the veggies and so we're going to do this and set it aside while we prep our sauce and then we'll squeeze out the water later. Going right into our sauce here, I am using two tablespoons of hot pepper paste. You guys can use up to three tablespoons and add some chili pepper flakes if you'd like. But to control the spice level for my family, because I do want my kids to eat this and they can handle a little bit of spice, this is what I'm doing. We're going to mix all these ingredients up together. So I've got my vinegar, the corn syrup, sugar, sesame oil, and garlic. And then we're just going to throw all this together in this bowl and we're going to mix it all up. Mix this until everything is uniformed and nicely combined. So we're going to keep doing this. It's probably like a good 30-45 seconds of this and that's it. But continue mixing this until you get like a good consistency between everything that's all together marinated. It's going to be a, an amazing flavor. Now let's get back to our green onions here. We only need two of these. We're going to chop these up into small pieces and we're going to chop these all the way up to the white part of the green onions. So just keep chopping these up. Once you have that done, go ahead and grab a shishado paper. I am using this again to control the spice. If you want to, you can add a red pepper and a green pepper if you'd like. But Again, this is a something that you don't want to skip, by the way. The pepper flavor is really good in this recipe, so I would definitely make sure to have a pepper inside this recipe, no matter what. But throw all of that into the sauce bowl that we just made, and we're just going to coat it all up together, and that's it. Now, going back to our veggies that we had salted earlier. I don't know what happened to my video footage where I just placed all this inside of a napkin. Use a napkin or a cheesecloth but you can squeeze everything out and get all the juices out of that. And then I just left them right inside of the strainer just to kind of sit there while I get everything else taken care of. I went ahead and drained 
and rinse my chicken with cold water just to cool it down and then I'm going to chop these up into bite-sized pieces. With this particular recipe, you're supposed to use gorbangi, which is like sea snails. Or if you don't want that or you can't find that, which you can usually find in any Korean market, you can use any of your favorite seafood, scallops, shrimp, mussels, whatever it is that you like, or a combination of them all. But again, I want my kids to eat this and they're, well, you know how one is. One of them is just not big into seafood. So I'm using chicken in place of it and this is what we're doing. And now that everything is just about done, all we're gonna do is grab a very large bowl so that you can fit everything inside. And you're gonna throw your chicken or your meat preference of choice that you've chosen to make this with, along with the pickled, I guess it's now pickled, the pickled uh, cucumbers, carrots, and onions, and the sauce mix. Just dump everything into the bowl, grab yourself a spoon, and let's mix everything up until everything is nicely coated. You can eat this dish as is by itself once you're done mixing it, um, just as a side dish with your rice. Or you can make some really thin noodles, just boil some really thin noodles and eat it all together with that. Traditionally, that's just how the meal is served. You can, I mean, it's supposed to be a great dish to have with some drinks, alcoholic beverages, or just by itself, you don't necessarily need it. Also, if you don't want spicy and you can't handle the spicy, I've been told you can substitute this with soy sauce, but I've never had it that way. If anybody tries that, let me know. You can just use two tablespoons of soy sauce instead of two tablespoons of the hot chili pepper paste. But I wanted to try something different, so I decided to serve mine up with some romaine lettuce and serve it as a salad. Just sprinkle some sesame seeds on top and that's your recipe. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, share this recipe, and until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.